This is the front line in American Samoa's battle against obesity, an early morning exercise class at the island's only stadium. Olivia Reed Gillette comes here twice a week. I needed to get healthier. I had high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol. 75% of American Samoans are obese, which is why Ipo Hemaloto teaches this class. A nurse, she says almost all of her patients suffer from the effects of being so overweight. Diabetes and hypertension, coronary artery disease, they're slowly killing themselves. It's very scary and then we need to do something fast. Dr. John Tuatelli blames the problem on sedentary lifestyles and on Islanders' appetite for high-fat American food. Almost all of the food here is imported and expensive, so fast food chains are popular because of their fixed, low-cost menus. But Islanders are paying a high price with their health. The obesity epidemic even affects newborns of overweight mothers. A lot of uh, the mothers are diabetic. So when they have babies, the babies are usually large and uh, up to 10 or so pounds. In fact, a recent Brown University study found that one in five American Samoa babies has an excessive birth weight. And by just 15 months, more than 39% of boys and 30% of girls are overweight or obese. <coughs> so the Island's Health Department has launched a new wellness program, tracking the obesity level of young children and pushing older kids to get active. <laughs> Adults are also starting to exercise regularly. Olivia Reed Gillette has lost 64 pounds. I'm perfectly healthy now. I have no health problems. And if I don't come to class, I can feel it. In this island's obesity battle, that's one step towards victory. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.